So without being said, let's hop right into the video. To start off, I am using my laptop. So this is the MacBook Air 13 inch. I use this for school, for online schooling, and for editing as well. This school year, I decided to try something different. So I tried printing my notes on my laptop. And to be honest with you, it's not that really easy because I have to make it perfect. I failed many, many times. And I wasted a lot of paper or a lot of useless paper and a lot of well. And I am super happy because finally I can share to you how do I print my notes without wasting any paper or ink. So I'm using my laptop to take down notes. Um, what's good about my school is they are giving us LAS or learning activity sheet. So that LAS contains our lesson and some activities for that particular lesson. And I find it really helpful because they are providing us handouts as well. So all I have to do is copy paste them into Google Docs. Yes, I am using Google Docs, but before I am using Pages and Microsoft Word, but right now I kind of like it more in Google Docs. So right now I have here my laptop with me, so I can share with you guys how do I print. So let me just open screen recording. So now it's finally recording. So this is my notes um, to be specific in research, in practical research. So all you have to do is click you tab and, and type the docs. Once you type docs, um, that of us are done with real docs and you can click it. And now I am here sa LAS mo. So you can click this icon right here to pay your and it will direct you to the box. So once you are here already, you can click class right now and untitled, right? Kunyari, kinuha ko yung notes ko from my LAS. So for example, ito na yun. And imagine ninyo na lang na wala siyang mga, uh, wala siyang mga highlights lang. Now, how to highlight text? All you have to do is highlight the words. For example, I'm gonna highlight the meaning of quantitative research design. So for example, I'm going to highlight this part only, and all I have to do is click this icon, highlight color, and choose from this bunch of colors. So for example, for the explanation, I, I always use color yellow. So there you go guys, that's how you highlight text here in Google Docs. So now let's proceed to the paper, or the size of the paper. So for its size, we're going to click File, and then go down to page setup. So here is the dimensions that you can adjust depending on your loose leaf size. So for my paper, I have a B5 loose leaf with 9 holes. So I'm going to change it to B5. So for my page setup, I keep it portrait. So for the paper size, I am using B5 because that is the size of my loose leaf paper. And for the page color, I remain it white. And then you can custom it as well, but we're going to keep it white. And for the margins in inches, for the top part, I am using 0.3. And for the bottom, it's 0. And both left and right are 0.5 inches. So that is our page setup when it comes to my notes. Now let us talk about how do I print them. So all you have to do is command print, control print, or just click print. So for the printing setup, so as you can see, it has this blue lines all over the edges. So, so I just keep it this way. So you can customize this one so you can move it um, larger or you go lesser. And later on, I will show you what is the process in printing. So mamaya tayo mag print kapag nakapagani na ako ng notes natin for my next printing process. Ryan Little. <laughs> Thank you. 
baby, it's 2 30, and I should probably head back home. But I'm afraid to be alone. What do I need to do to get some time with you? I'd rather be half involved and missing all of you. Drinking till the sun comes up. Better than feeling like I need your love. Dancing to my legs. So basically, guys, that is just the basics. Pagdating sa pag-print natin ng digital notes or from Google Docs. Actually, you can do it as well in Word or Pages, but for me, it is easier sa Google Docs. And I find it really, really efficient because you don't have to download it on your laptop. So, you should go consume ng space. Some of you guys will also think that you need Wi-Fi to have access to the and notes. And you can make it offline as well. Kaya yun yung pinaka-nagustuhan ko sa Google Docs. So, that's it, guys. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. And sana may natutunan kayo in this video. And hopefully, magawa nyo rin yung ginagawa ko because a lot of you are really requesting for this video and a lot of you are asking me on Instagram non-stop when it comes to my notes. And if you guys are also interested on in how do I take my handwritten notes, you can comment down below. And I will make another video about that. So again, that's it for this video. And thank you, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my social media accounts. All the links will be down below. Again, this is Catherine and see you on my next video. Bye!